Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppin' over hill and dale. Da 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 Has man really been to the moon? It's been 50 years, and the debate rages on. For the first time, a film compiles in a single piece of work all the best evidence in favor of the moon landings and the evidence contrary to them. I Russi sono stati zitti perché nessuno se lo sa spiegare. Now, nearly 40 years after the first moon landing, NASA has confessed that the original film depicting Neil Armstrong's giant leap has been lost. What was the Apollo project really? The biggest achievement in the history of mankind or the biggest fakery of all times, watched on live television by more than half a billion people. Le foto avrebbero dovuto essere state fatte sulla Luna portandosi un'attrezzatura da studio. <laughs> What's up with the moon trips? There's a program being sponsored by Flyby News at the Greenfield Public Library on March 23rd, 2019. It's a Saturday morning from 10 a.m. till noon, and each following month on the third Saturday of the month from 10 a.m. to noon, which is April 20th, May 18th, June 15th, and July 20th, 2019. Did Neil Armstrong leap onto the lunar surface about 50 years ago? While many believe they saw this happen on TV, Flyby News, an online news service that exposed NASA's high-risk Cassini plutonium Earth flyby in 1999, calls the event a military psychological operation. It just did not happen as it was portrayed, said Jonathan Mark, publisher of the website flybynews.com. It took me years researching this event before I could actually talk about it and the images that can be seen from Apollo lunar missions. Ever since those missions, astronauts have only claimed to venture in low Earth orbit. There they receive the same protection from deadly cosmic rays as Earth does from its electromagnetic shield called the Van Allen belts. This is the reason the Russians never attempted to send an astronaut to the moon. According to NASA's spokesperson for the 2014 Orion mission, Kelly Smith, the Van Allen radiation belts contain dangerous radiation, and that, quote, NASA must first solve this challenge before we send people through this region of space. It appears reasonable to question if six missions to the moon and back actually happened with 1960s technologies. Even today, we don't have the ability to protect life on such a journey. The main obstacle in questioning something many of us believe most of our lives is cognitive dissonance, our worldview, which is uncomfortable to challenge. Also, many get emotional over this issue. There is national pride at stake. If you do question those missions, you may receive ridicule. This keeps many away from the topic. In 1969 to 1972, Apollo had less computer power than one smartphone. Are you willing to join in the debate in 2019 and do some research? Flyby News is offering events with monthly discussions and films to explore such questions and possible answers. Has the military taken over NASA and truth in space? With all the chaos in our world, we can see how dangerous it is to abandon science and integrity by our institutions. Inevitably, truth will prevail, but it's unclear how long it will take. As Mark Twain said, it is easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled.